All right, well, here's this little uh, solenoid motor running on a uh, garden light uh, solar panel. And uh, I really like this thing. I don't know why I'm so excited by it, but it's a machine. I think that's why it's running with a mechanical linkage um, as opposed to the brushless DC motors I showed on so many videos. But uh, let me uh, take this inside. I'll show you what what's going on here and where I'd like to go with this project here. Now what what is going on here is I've got the super capacitor in there. And I've also got a battery holder here that I can add the power to it here. And I got it to run on a volt and a half with the solar panel here. But then it with the super capacitor you can take the battery out of it. And of course it's just running on the energy stored in the supercapacitor. But what I found out today was if you use smaller magnets in the tube here than what it really needs, you greatly reduce the friction. Because of the way I'm doing this, they just wobble around in that, almost in that magnetic field there. And it's rather quiet. And uh, I thought that was pretty darn neat. And the push rod is just attached to the magnets through magnetism. There's no connection at all. And then um, we get the hole here with crazy glue for the other surface. And then the uh, plastic bead with crazy glue down there. And I'm using sewing machine oil to lubricate the whole thing. And then the lead switch here. But what I'm thinking now is what I might do is use a hall sensor right there and turn this into an electronic device by using a hall sensor and then get away from the lead switch but for some reason this really fascinates me and especially now that I've got it running on a volt and a half is um, that's pretty darn neat and anyway I just want to let you guys know where I'm at with this project and uh, there's the, the real power source for the going right now is the supercapacitor buried up inside there. Let me jolt this back. I'll show you how fast this thing charges up again. You hear the speed increase here. Hear that revving up? And that's the energy from the battery going into the super cap. Now it's just running on the energy in that super cap. That's a 10 fair 2.7 volt. And that's the solar panel out of a solar garden light. Read switch, LED, and everything's connected under the board there into this. Now, what I would have to do is clean all this up, um, make it much neater. But the concept of this running uh, mechanically, this push rod mechanism I just find that really really interesting that I got something that will run on that that is rivaling my pulse motors these things over there that I normally work with I'm getting pretty darn close with that anyway that's where I'm at with this project thanks for following along